Thank you. I don't see it. There we go. Okay, why don't we start the meeting at 7, uh, 7 o'clock. Uh, first uh, item that we got is old business. It's the Elm Street variance that we voted on. We don't have that decision, do we? Not yet. So we were hoping to get that decision at least by email. It was mailed Monday to us. We haven't gotten it, and we hope yes. perhaps during the meeting. Email copy. No, no. Just, I requested it again today and left their voicemail. So, so I'll back. keep checking it before okay. we adjourn. Do you know what the extension is? Um, and then when we have the extension. Okay. Okay. If we get it, um, <clears throat> we'll have to come in and sign it, but uh, so we'll have to vote the uh, replacement member for Zach. He's going for two weeks. It'll have to be uh, Greg, for the new, the new member. He wasn't here to hear it. He wasn't, it. He wasn't here, here to hear it. No. So it'll have to be Greg. You heard all the hearings, uh, right? Yes, I will be here. Um, I just, I excuse myself because of the neighborhood. Yeah. So I'm going to make a motion to replace uh, Zach Cameron with uh, Greg Logan. So we second that motion. Okay. Any discussion? All those, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No opposed. Do you have an extension? Yes, it's actually until July 21st. And that meeting is July 20th, next meeting? Yep. So we'll be all right. I'm going to make a motion that we can, well, some can make a motion to continue this to uh, July 20th, the next meeting. I'll make a motion to continue um, this meeting, the uh, case number 0416, until July 20th. Is there a second? No second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Uh, the uh, Stone Ridge, the case number 516 and 6-09, the form F1, we've had a new one written out by our attorney. We have not voted on this, um, so we need to take a vote on this. Has everybody seen? Let me read it to everybody. Before we do that, you're going to replace Zachary again. You have someone to... All right, I'll, I'll replace him with me. Peter, Karen, Greg, Logan, and Zach. Okay, I'll make the motion to replace Zach Karen with... Uh, Bob Adams. Bob Adams. Is there a second? No second there. Any discussion? No discussion. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? No opposed. Passed. Okay, so we've, uh, we had some concern about the language the last time, so uh, I had a conversation with Marguerite, and this is what uh, we came up with. Have you have you seen this? I have. Okay. Let me just read it so everybody, uh, is it? Nobody? We don't all have a copy of this, right? No. We don't need that. Okay. Uh, from the Office of the Zoning Board, the undersigned being a majority of the Zoning Board of Appeals for the Town of Dighton, Mass, hereby certify that the requirement for work on the ground called for by an approval with covenant contact, contract dated November 6, 2014 and recorded in the Bristol District Reg Registry of Deeds on November 10, uh, 2014, book number 21975 and page 272 and said lots are hereby released from the restriction as to the sale and building specified thereon. Lots designated on said plan as follows. Lot number 9 and 45 with a condition that lot 11 previously released from the covenant on September 16, 2015 as evidenced by Form F-1 Certificate of Performance recorded at the Bristol County North Registry of Deeds on September 18, 2015 at Book 22533 on page 223 will be returned to said covenant and along with Lot 48, which lot has not yet been released from the said covenant, will remain in said government until further released by the uh, subsequent vote of the Zoning Board of Appeals and a new recording of a F Form F-1 Certificate of Performance. Any discussion on that? Didn't we sign this last month? No. We right. signed nothing that looked like this? No. We no, I, I went it. back and looked at the meetings because I saw it here. It said, oh, or was that just the house style we signed? We signed the house style. Okay. Personal, yeah. We did not uh, vote on this because we continued this because uh, Marguerite had some concerns about the language. Uh, that we, right, okay. Anybody have any questions about this? No. This is she recommends this? This is what she recommended versus the one that we had at the, uh, the last meeting. Uh, someone want, want to make a motion to one of the voting members make it? I'll make the motion that we accept it as written. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second that motion. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? I should have asked if there was any discussion, but that's fine. Sorry. Yes. So it's going to Did be... Did we replace Zach? Yes. Yeah, Ken, Bob, uh, Adams. Yeah, Bob Adams. Adams. So uh, you and Greg can sign it. They're going to give it to Peter. 
So we're not on case number 3-16. There's been conversation with Rob, uh, but the decision has not been written yet. Their extension, uh, we're asking, he signed an extension uh, on June 14th yesterday, granting us an extension to July 22nd, 2016 for the decision. We should have the decision by then. I, has Marguerite been in contact with Rob? I know Rob spoke to you, Ross, but we don't know. Like during the day, she probably, he probably didn't. I think they're having trouble getting what state is so long, do we know? I don't honestly know. Do date this? I mean, this has been going on since February. Yeah. Or was it last year? Well, no. Well, well it, was, it was last year that we changed it from a, spe uh, from a variance to a special permit. We've already voted on it. It's just a matter of the decision being written up. And he's agreed to uh, have it extended to July 22nd. So uh, I don't think we need to take a vote on that, but uh, he's already signed an extension to July 22nd, and hopefully we'll... He missed the other meeting, right? He, we continued. He wasn't right. at the last meeting, but well, we continued. It's just that considering he was so desperate to get that in um, so that he could get his... Uh, what are they called? The the, no, the tube's in the ground. Yeah. But, okay. I don't know what the delay is, but it's no harm, I don't think. Yeah. It, uh, you know, we've already approved it. It's no harm. Yeah, it's no harm or not. Uh, it's going to happen with the uh, decision. So our next case is uh, dash seven dash sixteen, the Pines modification request. Oh, you got one. Sorry. There's no formal. There's no. Nope. It's just that on the front, he's got the site, the outside cover of the folder can. Yep. But is there something in writing specifically what he's looking for? Did we need uh, the building inspector on this? He actually he actually wants to come down on oh, this. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't see it. Oh. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Did you? I, I didn't see it. No, I didn't was see it. it was, I was I tell the transport if you guys were aware of that. <laughs> By facts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a lot of talent. That's one of them that I didn't know. I was busy. Yeah, we just so, uh, so You busy. get a turn. Just be do, okay. do a couple more years. The onset's quick, especially for building space. That's what I'm told. Do you want to pick three voting members? All right, Bob Adams. How about let's get the new guy. Sounds good. Jason? Yes, sir. Jason and uh, Greg Logan. Well, we tried not to keep you two on the same. Okay, so well, it'll be you then. You speak up again, okay? Okay. It will be uh, the voting members on it. And why don't we... Uh, Jason Quinn, right? Yes. Jason Quinn. Why don't we listen first, and I'm not sure if we need to take a vote on whether this is substantial or not. I don't think it is substantial, but let's get an idea as to what you're looking for. What we're looking for is the... Uh, the foundation, uh, uh, fortunately, the, 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 the bulkhead of the foundation in, uh, protrudes uh, one foot and four inches into the setback line. Um, uh, it's, a, it's an inadvertent error on our part. It, uh, we, we, we made sure that from now on we actually pin the, the hole itself so it doesn't happen again. Um, <clears throat> So the variance we're asking for is to uh, to be 8.7 feet rather than 10 feet away from the long line. Okay. The setback. Uh, why don't we discuss then whether this is a substantial change or a not a substantial change? I, don't I, I personally don't think it's a substantial change, I don't but either. I think we do have to the vote on it. So right. since I'm too. a voting member on this, I'll make a motion that this is not a substantial change. I'll second. Any discussion? I have some things I want to ask. Sure. Is Lot 29 built? Lot 29 is... It would be right next to it. It's not built, no. Can we, can we make the setbacks so that they meet what we're requiring, a 20-foot buffer between 10 on this one and 10 on that one? On I see what 29? you're saying. Yeah, uh, we can do that. Yeah, so so add, add like a one, one foot on the other. So that they're not that close. Yes, yes, we can do that. So, Sorry, it's not any foundation. Or There's no anything foundation on board yet. So we'll still keep the 20 footer between the two. You give him 10. Even though he only has 8 foot 7 on the buffer, it still keeps the next lot. So he has 20. We still maintain the same frontage. Frontage is an issue. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's, but the, he's not going to take it off. Well, fine. I think the difference here is the 
when, and when I had talked to, um, I think Jim about this some time back, so that we don't have to move the lot line. Right, right. We would still grant this variance. As long as it keeps sustained. But as long as the next house gets built 10 feet away from this or point, point or, or 20 feet away. It would be 20 feet. Right, because other than that, you're going to go through changing lot lines. Well, I really discussed that. That's what I was trying to get. 11, exactly. Like 11.3. Yeah. The next one has to be 11.3. Just so we keep that we, same. We will do that. All right. But we still have a vote on whether it's a system. Yes, so, so uh, get so back to So somebody second it. Somebody's got to vote. Somebody, second it. Oh, somebody ha uh, well, second. I asked if there was any discussion. Right. Peter. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, are we all done with the discussion? Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No, no opposed. So it's not a substantial change. Uh, any questions regarding anything that he's... Uh, I know you've asked the question already. Is there anything that... Can we make sure that's into... Something we should have to. lot 29 that we have to keep the 11 foot 3 condition back and to make the sold give us the 20 foot buffer zone on that. I don't know if the building So the idea is just so I understand, you don't want any, any, uh, uh, the building on lot 29 to be any closer than 20 from there, from 20 feet from, from the that bulkhead over here. Yeah. So what basically, you're... what we're looking for, we're going to approve the, uh, the change in the setbacks for lot 28, make it an 8.7. Uh, distance from the uh, lot 29 and lot 29 the house has to be 20 feet away built exactly. 20 feet away from the corner of, that. of uh, lot 28 the house on lot 28 basically that's what it is Jason you have any questions no I do not Did you have any questions no I don't have any questions Jason you understand what we did here absolutely yep yep any further discussion I beg you to uh, Put it all in words. Though. I was going to say, gentlemen, for me from Marguerite, so I have lot, lot 29 home has to be at least so 20 feet from the corner of. Foundation. You're going to, uh, uh, the variance is approved for lot 28. Well, we haven't voted on it yet. Well, okay, assuming. So uh, let me let me make the motion that. Uh, well, let's talk about the condition first so that you well, we'll make the motion. Let me with make the, the, whole, the whole motion with the condition on it. That's why I want to tell you what the condition will be. You, oh, do you know what? Well, we're going to. I think I just I mentioned it earlier. Okay, go that ahead. we're going to approve the uh, variance request for lot 28, that the house can be built 8.7 feet away from the lot 29, and that the house on lot 29 has to be 20 feet away from the house that's uh, that's been built on lot 28. Anybody want to Second. add anything to that? Uh, Second. House on lot 29 has to be a minimum of 20 feet. That's that's the condition. That's, that's what I said. Yeah, that's the condition. Yep. Of the variance. Okay. That can be verified with my foundation as built for lot 29. For lot 29. Any further discussion on that motion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? No opposed. So we need to have that this decision written up by Marguerite so we won't have that signed until next meeting. Okay. Uh, but you've you know you've been approved okay well thank um, you for the variance thank and you. i don't anticipate a, a problem with that and it'll have to be recorded once it's sure. signed but, oh. and, uh, as well as that form one you're going to have to record that also yeah so. uh, when do you think i can get it notarized i can get that notarized in the morning so okay. if you are always i'll stop by tomorrow okay. thank you very much thank you oh, uh, good to see you again. i can have zach bring my uh, kit oh if he's coming and picking you up then zach um tim then whatever but yeah. I still won't get it to because she's yeah, yeah. more than yeah. Then you can do it upstairs. Thank you. Bye. Okay, the next on the new business is a request by the uh, police uh, building committee. And the first one is, we're asking for an extension. The first one is dated June 13, 2016. Zoning Board of Appeals, 979 Somerset Avenue, Dyke, Mass, 02715. Yep. To whom? It, well, yeah. We can pick all the members. It doesn't matter for this. So. To whom it may concern, we would like to request an extension for case number twelve fifteen and case number sixteen fifteen concerning the property lo located at Somerset Avenue in Dighton, Mass. Uh, Joseph Cheek for the building uh, police building committee. So they re they're requesting uh, an extension and the. Case 16-15, we signed that on 
January 20th, 2016. This would have been recorded by the clerk the following day, so uh, they're requesting six months extension on this, uh, on our decision, which would be July uh, 21st, 2016. Am I correct on that? And on the second one, 1250, maybe we should appoint uh, the members first. Do you want to point the members first? All right. Uh, I think um, we had, I put the same voting members on that. Oh, on the phone? Okay, so yeah. Zach's exactly. not here, so Zach needs to be oh. uh, replaced. Who do we have? Uh, uh, well, Dina Karen, Ken Pacheco, Greg Lowe. You've been on, in on the other one. Yeah. Okay. In, in reality, it's just whether you want to grant them an extension, it doesn't right. matter what happened in the past. Well, I, I think that people that. understand that's it. That's, that's all. People no. understand a little bit better. So, on uh, case number uh, 1615, it would be to January, excuse me, it would be July 21st, 2017. And on the other case, they've provided us with a letter also for that. It would be. Six months or a year? Six months. Put those on the third. Yeah. And it's right under the top page. Okay. We signed it September 15th. It was recorded the 16th, I believe. Uh, so that would go to March 17th, 2017. Right under this one. This, this one right here? Uh, no, this one. Okay. That is going to, yep, March 17th. Yeah, thank you. Discussion on these extensions. If anybody was at the uh, town meeting the other night, uh, it was mentioned, I believe, that they won't be uh, starting the project until probably the fall of 2017. Is that correct? So we know no action is going to happen there. So we're granting these. Uh, we're going to be granting these extensions for each of the cases that we discussed uh, that we approved before. Are uh, oh, you here? I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> If, if what was said to us is correct, and that's the second time I've heard it, that's going to be a problem with the expiration of a March 17th date, 2017. That variance will lapse prior to the issuance mm -hmm. of the building permit. So that's going to create an issue. Well, they can come back before us and have to us again. We'll okay. see what the, how far along they are. I just want to make sure everybody's aware of the yeah, circumstances. Yeah, it's probably, the probably going to come back from the two variances okay. over again, and you can review the site because things are going to pack in and things like that are going to change. Okay. Are they moving forward with the jump? The problem is that we had the plan ready to go and the bids came in high. He so said we, that. We rejected all the bids. Now we're working with the architect and increasing the square footage. Or decreasing square footage? Yeah. Decreasing the square footage? Up to 8,500 square foot instead of 6,000 or so. So it's going to be more. Well, it's going to be more, but it's going to be for the future, not for five or ten years. Okay. You know. And are they talking about a second floor now? There's two options. Option one is the second floor, and option two is the lower level, one one level. And on the side, what's the next meeting of the piece? We haven't. Uh, we've just got the I just got the prints today of uh, the copies of the options, so it should have a, a meeting within another couple of weeks. Can you go low level instead of I mean one in the ground like a basement and uh, uh, with the use group designation for police station below grade uh, uh, have habitable areas or not? No. Uh, if it was a walkout. Might be able to work something out, but that's not the case. The topography of the land's not like this. You could have it. It is, but it's too close to the wetlands. Uh, I'd stay away yeah. from the wetlands. Okay. That's why the retaining wall is going up. To build it up. Yeah, yeah. All
What's the uh, most we can do, Joe? Is it six months or a year? What? What's the most the ZBA can do? You can give it uh, six months, and we've uh, had a, we lost the case because we uh, extended two or three times. Right. You know? I remember that. Well, and that's why I was so wondering what. But that wasn't the litigation, though, right? Yeah, but it's in six no, months. But I, but I think the statute says what? Six right. months. Six months. And you can only give that. Back. You can only give that one extension. Yeah. To litigations. Yeah. Right. Now, that was my point. So if, if this all timeline all works out, we'll be back in front of this board. Right. That would be the last time we can do it. Right. Well, the way I understood it on that other case was because we extended the man about a file against him, there was litigation. If there was no litigation, you could extend it again, am I right? No, no. I, no. 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 six months. Only, only one time. One time. So you have to redo the whole process right. again? What? If no. it doesn't happen? In six months. Yeah, we have to go through. Here. We've got to reapply for right, it. and it's going to look different than everything else. So yeah, yeah. We, we need to look at that. I, I made everybody aware they're going to have to go back to the boards anyway because the site plan was going to change. Yeah. So. Okay. You may not need the setbacks. Have they got we don't the know. Clearance on the curb cut. I'm sorry. Have they got the clearance on the curb cut issue? I don't know. I've not seen an application. Yeah, they're not asking for an extension on that one because they've actually requested right. not to go long. They withdraw it. Basically. There's two variances involved. One is the set back from the center right. of the road, right. and one is for a little triangle in the back. Okay. And that may all change with the new design. Okay. okay. Good. So I'll entertain a motion that we approve the extension on case number 1215. Uh, you got to uh, put members on first. I thought we put them. Yeah, we've got me. Yeah, we've got oh, replace that? Yes, we yeah, we've replace, replace it with Greg. Uh, that we're going to extend this six months and the extension date will be to March 17th, 2017. Is there a second? I'll second that motion. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No opposed. So, Greg, if you could sign that one. And I'll make a motion on case number 16-15 uh, that we extend, uh, give an extension on that uh, variance to July 21st, 2017. Any discussion on that? I'm sorry, what was that again? The, on case number 1615, that we're extend, giving them an extension to July 21st, 2017. And that's, that's on the that motion that we approved. There's a triangle. Triangle. Yeah. Same thing. Is there a second on that motion? A second. second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Opposed? No opposed. Just make sure I don't go home with any good stuff, okay? You want to read the minutes? Take some time to read the minutes? Or you no, I've read it. Or you I thought there was something here. Yeah. 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 I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes of May 18, 2016. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No opposed. I do want to make a comment about uh, the fees. We, as everybody knows, we've increased the fees, but apparently we can't touch that money. Right now, the way it stands, we're having the uh, petition. Prior to this change in the fees, we had the petition of paying for the decisions, and we've agreed to increase the fees and that we would pay the decisions. How, uh, however, that money goes, that fees goes into, I believe it's called a reserve fund that we don't have access to. So we're taking it out of another fund that we have. Can you name that fund? Professional and technical. Professional and technical. And I think at some point uh, that's going, this money here goes, that we collect the fees goes into the general fund for the town. So I think probably in October we're going to have to ask for an increase uh, in fees uh, for the other fund that we have that we can take this money out of. So, so we can't transfer it from, we can't, uh, we can't transfer, we can't touch that money, we can't transfer it, we give it back to the town at the end of uh, the fiscal year for the money. So when we put a budget together and we increase the 
professional and technical fees. What did they do? Take it out? Um, I don't. I don't know what the final. Know what uh, they I'm not sure what the final. Uh, because well, you voted on you the budget. That? Did you bring that? Um, yes, I did. Okay. Can you see what's in there for professional and technical? Under what the zoning board? Yeah. There was nothing on that. It just says. I don't think it was that specific. I think it was just, just says, uh, expenses. Uh, it just says expenses. It didn't show the line items in the budget. That was so, but what is water. that number? Well, it's an expense account. No, I know. But what is the amount that they budgeted? I don't know. For us, for the year, yeah, fifty-four thousand three hundred seventy-six. Which is about dollars. How much more is it from last year? Fourteen thousand nine hundred and ten dollars and six cents. Over last year. Yeah, that's why I was wondering. Well, part of it is we're going to get a uh, oh. pay increase. They're going to figure out what they're going to give us. Going to go two percent, two percent, two percent for every year. Uh, so that's. That's going to take some of the money out of that. So, so it's going to come out of professional technical, right? So I think though in the fall, and especially I don't know in the fall, they want to do it. Say See, when that. we put the budget together, and um, you asked for eighty-two on here, yeah. right? The whole point of that was we were now paying Marguerite, Borgay, and Gay to write the decisions as opposed to the applicant. But we raised those fees. Um, so in other words, instead of saying. Your, fee, your, your application fee is 300 and then then at the end, okay, now here's another bill for 600 to write the decision. It confused a lot of the people who were coming in. We just said application fee is 700 And we kind of did all the paperwork on our end, knowing that the bill for Marguerite was going to be X, Y, Z. And the reason why we did that was because when a decision was declined, um, it was very difficult to go back to that uh, applicant to say, we know we, we declined you, but here's the $700 bill we want you to pay. And um, so after some discussion with Marguerite, we decided, you know what, why don't we just raise the fee and incorporate um, that fee. They write the check one time. They don't know how it's dispersed. It doesn't matter. That money goes into professional and technical account. No, Apparently, it, well, it goes yeah. into Most of the uh, general, general fund. fund. Right. But, no. uh, right. No, I understand. Well, we're on TV. Uh, I understand. Oh, it's all right. It, it was supposed to go into, it always did go into general fund. But that was the whole idea of increasing professional and technical uh, yes. so that instead of, if that's how it came, if, the count, if it goes into general fund, then raise um, our, uh, our technicals so that way when we pay Marguerite, it would come out of that that fee. So now we're going to have a shortfall in that account. And uh, at some point we're going to have to go... I have a question, Peter. On it, when the planning board, they, their fees and everything is all cut in a separate fund for the plan, in the planning board. Right. Thing. I've, other times they've used the money to offset other tax or bills that they've borrowed against it. That's, 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 called a, that's called a revolving a revolving account. account. Oh, we don't, okay. We don't account. have a revolving account. Should you we establish pay, one? You have to establish it at town meeting. At town meeting, okay. Yes. Should I, we I have that? About, well, probably, but I talked about town account that we can't take money out of that fund. It goes no, into the general okay. fund. It builds up and then it's turned over to right. so. Turned, turned over as free cash. And right. We could certainly do that. Um, well, we, we have two choices, I guess. Is it, did she say um, come October we can request a replenishment? We can't. Okay. And in my discussion with her, we can't. we can't. So we'll have to figure out how much it's going to cost the rest of the year. How much do we have in that fund? But do you remember if we increased that when we went before the uh, finance committee? We had a budget. Do you know if we remember? I don't have the figures in front of me. I, I go to the finance. That. That's when I was sick. Yeah, but when you sat. Oh, on vacation. Yeah. Right, but you. When I sat with the select line, then, did you re request an increase yeah. in that? Right, and I, and I explained it to them why we needed yeah. it. And to them, there was, there was never an issue. The only issue they ever had when I gave them our budget was. Uh, making the secretary full time, I doubled some uniform fee. They said that's that's wrong. You can't double it. And they said instead of being 500, it was 400. Other than that, they signed off on it. So I walked out of it thinking there was no issue with anything. Um, but when I met with the finance committee, they had several issues. They had a request for an increase in our, our salaries. Right. Uh, they had a problem with the uh, digitalizing. Everything that we we're going to pay five thousand dollars, but he's actually yeah. paying it out of his budget, Jim's right. budget. Uh, the, uh, and they had a question. Uh, 
No, actually, they, they did not address your um, right. the, increase. Right. I understood the 5000 that we put in because when it was first explained to me, it was we were going to pay 5000 to tap in. Understand it was a mistake. It corrected it. The idea of, of the wages is um, one of the things that concerns me is you cannot compare town for town for town. In other words, uh, I know but that's how they've done it in the past. Yeah, yeah, but in a sense, it's not it's not correct because you got a, a town of Swansea, for example, twice the size of Dighton, maxed out. Their um, zoning board of appeals meets once a month. They're not dealing with 40 bees. All their land is maxed out. Mm. It's not an issue for them. You, got, you go to Rehoboth, it's the same thing. But when you start to go to towns like. Um, uh, not what uh, Cumberland, Rhode Island, uh, places where there's vast amounts of land where they're dealing with 40 B. Well, Somerset, I mean um, Massachusetts, anyway, where they're dealing with 40 Bs. Their uh, zoning boards are working round the clock, so you can't just say, "Well, I'm going to compare it to Rehoboth, or I'm going to compare it to Berkeley." Uh, if if you're going to do that as a finance committee, then come back with figures that say this is why. As um, we, we, as the finance committee, we are not, not granting your request, uh, but because you're not comparing apples to to apples, you, you can't just arbitrarily say this town is growing. Yeah, but this town is growing at, at ten times the rate that another town is growing. If 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 they don't have forty bees because they're done, and we have forty three forty bees coming up, well, where do you expect that time and effort to come from? Uh, that's why I had when they gave the example at the uh, finance committee, Rainham, they don't get paid, uh, but they have 40 bees. So. Right, but they don't, they're not growing. Rainham doesn't grow at the rate that we grow. Uh, uh, Rain, Rainham is maxing out. But here's my here's my question: Where is that information? Was it it was shared with other members from the zoning from the from the finance committee? Was it a phone call? Was it just somebody's friend who's a friend who says? I'm on the finance committee and we don't get paid. If I, uh, uh, yeah, zoning board. I, wa I want to see where the actual work is that gets done. Uh, and not well, you just. Can, you can bring it up at the next finance committee meeting next yeah. year when, when we have a budget. But right now, that's the way it's been resolved. Uh -huh. And then yeah. people voted on funding us at that amount. Um, that's just the way it is. So, the other thing I want to point out is that next week they reappoint members of this board. And I understand that Bob Adams and Greg Logan are coming up. For reappointments. And Greg Wilkins? Greg, I believe it's Greg Logan and Bob. So, oh, everyone's a tenant. Pretty sure. Okay. Uh, I, I think, don't know one. I think Zach is next year. I'm in 2018. I'm not sure what Peter is. I thought it was another year. I thought so too. I thought it was just Bob Adams. Sure. No, it's two every, two every year. Come on, everybody more. So if anybody wants to attend a meeting, they can feel free to attend the meeting. Next Wednesday night. Next Wednesday night, yeah. Else. Anything else we uh, maybe want to discuss? You got anything, Joe? You want to add public input, Jim? Yeah, just real quickly. We had uh, one of the uh, applicants for a ground-mounted solar array um, question the requirement of a site plan and um, questioned it several times with Rosalind Grassi to the point where I had to get involved, and I made him aware that site plan requirement is specified in our bylaws and none of us have the authority to exempt him from that bylaw. So if he wishes to put a ground mounted array in the town of Dighton, he needs to comply with the bylaw and produce the site plan. He was trying to get away from the engineering requirements and so forth. So that conversation took place today. I asked Roz to pull out previous cases that we heard. They have all submitted an engineered plan for a site plan. So we're going to stay consistent. We're going to follow the bylaw. We're going to request that an engineer plan be submitted. Oh, in my in vote, case. we voted the other night at the town meeting on this new bylaw on the photo things. And the way I understood it, and I haven't gone back and read it all over it again, but it seemed to me that that the all permitting is special permitting is going to now fall on the planning board, whether they're ground mounted for solar. So request engineering. Though. Yeah, that doesn't negate the site plan requirement. Right, but we're not going to be hearing it. That's only after the Attorney General ratifies. Okay, up until now. Okay, Jim. That could, that so we have to. That usually takes 
until the fall. So okay. we have two coming in July. Okay. Right. So I just want to be clear on this. On, on bylaw changes or, no, or implementation, it usually don't doesn't come back till October from the Attorney General's office. But where are they located? The these two that are coming in. I didn't get the address. One one Wellington Street, Street, right? Is it um, one Hot Street? Wellington Street and Pleasant Street. Pleasant. We've already approved the Hot Street one, right? Right. Yeah. Rest of Hot Street. Unless there's another one that I don't know about, but. So there's only one coming in there. Two. 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 Yeah, but you just said the first one was Hot Street. No. Um, Wellington. Wellington and, and Pleasant. Pleasant. Wellington. Yep, 1990 Wellington, and I think it's 2641 Pleasant. Is it a conflict for anybody else? Yeah. Anybody here? What's the address on Pleasant Street? 1941. I think it's 2641. But let me just confirm that. No, I'm way far away. Uh, yeah. I might get on the roof of my house and look down on it. About, about Wellington? Well, I live up on Elm Street, look right down on yeah. Wellington. Street. You know, uh, what was Wellington's? 1990. 2651 Pleasant Street. Where do you go? 2185. 2185 21 26. That's going to be that way. Uh -huh. Think so? It's my understanding that you're coming back to like first, you know, yeah. as chairperson. And you'll be vice chair? Yeah. It was so good. <laughs> you did I know I had to make one decision. And it was a good decision. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Great. Since that was unavailable. Okay. Anything else we need to uh, discuss? No, nope, I make a motion and we adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? No discussion. All those in favor say aye. Right. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have. Ayes have. They can keep that. I don't want that. 731. Uh, 36. That was a quick one. Well, set, guys. Thank you.